And thanks for keeping it here on TV9 this midday. We are taking your questions now for veterinarian David Graff, 365-9999 if you have a question. And we're going to start things off with Tammy who's on the line. Go ahead, Tammy. Hey, good morning, everybody. I have a question. It's a two-part question regarding my, I have Welsh Pembroke Corgis. And um, I take fish oil for good health. Is it harmful to the dogs to give them fish oil, number one, part question? Okay, we're going to do, do the number first question first. Okay. Uh, two Welsh corgis, okay. and is it okay to give them fish oil? Okay. Um, you can buy commercially available capsules with uh, essential fatty acids, mm -hmm. omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. That's very good for skin. Okay. Um, and you can find those fatty acids in fish oil. However, it's probably better to, to make sure it's in the proper dose okay. so that you give, you give the right amount. Ex excess can cause, um, actually you can cause deficiency of fat-soluble vitamins by giving too much fish oil. Sure. And you can cause diarrhea too. So it's probably good to consult your veterinarian on the right Something amount to, to give in mind. for your dog. And Tam, you had a second part to that question? second part is that they're really dry. We're going around and they're there's a lot of electricity and we do have a humidifier spitting out air but what as like humans we put on hand lotion and body lotion what can we do for the dogs to get them so they're not like oily but they are getting lotion some kind of type of a lotion another good, good question, question. Um, there there are colloidal oatmeal shampoos available for okay. pets and I carry a couple of different brands of those shampoos at my veterinary hospital including uh, leave-on cream rinses that can be put on the dog after the colloidal oatmeal shampoo that moisturizes and conditions the coat and and it does the same thing on your pet that you can do by putting Vaseline intensive care on your hands. Okay, so. well I've even noticed my dog, she'll walk up to me and she'll shock me just like we would to yep. each other. Uh, yeah. Adorable little dog on your lap. Maggie May, is that her name? This is Maggie May and she she's from the Cedar Rapids um, Humane or uh, Animal Shelter and she's about five five and a half years old they think and she's a wire haired terrier mix and she's loving and your laugh she's there a, she's just a love she's looking for a home so uh, so give them a call and Maggie made the animal shelter yes and another caller on the line go ahead with your question hi I have two seven-year-old beagle brothers and they were housebroken and now they're peeing all over the house they mainly do it when I'm not looking, so I don't know which one is doing it. What can I do about this? The first thing is to see if one of them has a urinary tract infection and take them to your veterinarian and have uh, a urinalysis done. They may need to do x-rays. Uh, bladder infection or bladder stones are both common. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Check that first. It, it's not always behavioral. In fact, most of the time, it's a, a bladder problem. Something they can't control. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, Dr. Graff, thanks for being with us today. And coming up tomorrow, we're going to be talking about life insurance with our financial expert. Stay with your 24-hour news source, KCRG-TV9.